For this project, you're going to need some jump rings. I got some big ones, some little ones, a little clasp, and some fondings. I bought all of this stuff at Walmart, I do believe. Also, you're going to need some leather rope type stuff. Uh, this stuff I think I also bought at Walmart, and it was fairly cheap for this giant, giant roll. Some pliers, assorted, just random. And a little charm. I got these on eBay. They're quite adorable little bird skulls. So you're going to want to cut off a, a little more than what you think you're going to need because you can always shorten things. You can never make things longer. So I always cut too much. Now you're going to take your little metal finding things. Is uh, they, they they squat on to the end. I don't know what they're actually called, but you're just going to put your little piece of line in there, and you're going to squeeze down the flaps as hard as you can. I don't know how else to explain it, but just really squeeze that in there, and of course do it on both sides. My pliers, by the way, are very old. They were my grandmother's, so yeah. But it should look like that when you're done. And very secure. Now it's time to cut off the excess. So just measure around your neck, snip off what you don't need, and repeat the same thing on the other side with the other finding. I think they're called findings. I have no idea. Hope they're called findings. How about that? We're going to say I hope. And again, squeeze very, very, very hard with your little pliers. Really need new pliers. They are so busted. There. Now they should look like that. Now we are just going to make the charm. I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm not going to ask questions. In order to open the jump ring, you're going to want to clamp it with two sets of pliers and twist it. Don't pull it open twist it. If you pull it, it'll weaken the jump ring. So you're just going to twist it like that. And just slip it on over your little loop. I love these little bird skulls. And twist it back. And that's it. You just kind of line it back up. And you're done. You just kind of feed that through, or feed the rope through the jump ring now. And you got her all done, which I should do. There we go. <laughs> and that's that part done. Now you're going to need two smaller jump rings. And your clasp. Where's, there we go. This is basically it. You're just going to open up your jump rings the exact same way you did before. Slip it on to your little finding and drop it and be a complete idiot and pick it up again. <laughs> again, again. Yeah, slip it on over your finding. There you go. And you just add your clasp on. You could also take that apart. I would normally, I just forgot to. And twist it right back. The exact same way you did for your charm. And twist. Make sure everything lines up. If not, your hair, things like that will get caught on it. There we go. All done. And then repeat again with the other side. And there. Your clasp is on. And that's really all there is to it. So it's really not a lot of trouble to make yourself some great DIY gothic jewelry. Um, yeah, so please stick around the channel if you want to see some more of this kind of stuff. And I'll see you all later. Bye!